Hey everybody, welcome back. So, math. Let's get into it. It wasn't my favorite. I mean, if it's your favorite, then you got this. If it's not your favorite, then, you know, welcome to the club. Um, with the taste test, the math was not too difficult, but if you're taking a college, it's mostly college algebra. So if you're taking college algebra right now, then you should be good because it's going to refresh your memory and it'll still be in there. Um, if you took it back in high school, then you may want to freshen up just a little bit because there was some stuff in there that I was like, I don't know what none of this stuff is. And if you are one of those people who are taking your taste test without taking a college algebra class, then I mean, I don't know what you're doing. But do you? I mean, good luck. <laughs> that was mean, huh? No, I'm sorry. Good luck, you got this. Okay, so there's order of operations on there. That's pretty basic. I feel like we learned that a hundred times. You want to make sure you can add and multiply and divide and all that fun stuff by hand because where I was tested, the location did not allow any calculators. I don't know if it's still like that, but... When you do everything by hand, make sure you're really neat and organized because you're already like anxiety ridden and you're like nervous. So make sure it's organized because especially with algebra, if you miss one little thing right here, then your whole thing is just done, which I hate. Um, also, there were a lot of word problems. So if you're good at those, then whatever. I know I wasn't, but it was mostly like fractions to decimals and vice versa, percentages. There was a lot of percentage questions on there for some reason. I was like, I don't know why. But, um, you know, if you can convert a percentage to a decimal and vice versa, that was, I swear I got like four or five questions on just percentages. Make sure you can also configure perimeter and area. Those were in the word problems. You want to find the perimeter of a city block or a perimeter of... I don't know, offense, something like that. I got a couple on those. Also, with the formulas, you don't have to worry too much about memorizing 15 different formulas because they were all listed for you. So, like centimeters to inches and miles and feet and stuff like that, they're listed for you. So, at least they give us that, right? Also, you want, oh, sorry, I keep looking down because my notes. Did I say that already? I don't know, I can't remember. But my notes are always down here. I feel like I said that in every single one of my videos. Sorry. Um, also, you want to make sure that you can list numbers from least to greatest. Not that hard. It's really not too bad. But um, it could be whole numbers. It could be decimals. It could be fractions. So make sure you know the biggest to the smallest. And you can convert decimals to fractions. That was, I swear I got like two or three of those too. Um, I had a couple questions on balancing checkbooks. So, I mean, I feel like if you're an adult, you can kind of do that. But not everybody, so make sure you can do that. It wasn't too bad, though. It's in your um, ATI book also. Or, I didn't use the ATI book. I use this book right here. The T's. Any kind of T's study guide, it should be in there. Um, estimations, like rounding, that was in there. Um... With that, it's pretty simple. You know, if it's above five, you round to the next higher number. If it's below, like four or below, then it's under. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It should make sense. Sorry if it don't make sense. Um, Roman numerals. That one took me by surprise. I was like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't write in Roman numerals. I mean, maybe you guys do. I don't got no tattoos of Roman numerals. I mean, I don't know nothing about no Roman numerals. So I definitely had to study because there was a, I only had one question on it, but they wanted me to write out the Roman numerals of like a five digit number. I was like, what? So make sure you know your Roman numerals, like all the way up to hundreds and thousands and stuff. Cause I was like, what? Also interpreting a chart. So if they give you a question, uh, I can't really think of like one certain question, but pretty much like a pie chart or a bar chart, you know, based on the information they give you, what will be the best chart, like what will be the best way to interpret whatever they're giving you through what chart? Kind of sort of makes sense. Just know your charts. Uh, know the FOIL method. So first, outer, inner, last, algebra. 
algebraic equations, and lastly, absolute values. Those ones, too, I was kind of like, what are absolute values again? Like, I smooth forgot what those were. So it was absolute values and absolute values with equations, such as, you know, absolute value x plus 4, and a little absolute value again, and then equals 7. So find the value of x, you know? Um, that's pretty much it. It wasn't anything too crazy. Again, if you're comfortable with college algebra, then, you know, it's no biggie. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Leave them down in the comments. And good luck on your test. You guys are going to do awesome. I always say it. If you think positive, positive things will happen. If you think negative and you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to fail, then you're sending that out there to the universe. And you really don't want to be doing that because you want to pass. And you're going to pass. You're going to do bomb.com. I ain't even tripping. Let me know how you guys do on your tees. And thanks for watching. One love. Mwah.